Namaskaram friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about parliamentary committees of India. So in India, different different types of committees are formed for different different tasks. And when they submit their report, that committee is ended. That committee is stopped. So these uh, committees are like joint joint parliamentary committee, select committee, uh, and other departmental related committee, DRC. So these are committee which are uh, which have their specific task, and when that task is done, some committees are uh, you can say abandoned, and some are continue their work till another uh, task which is given to them. So like we divide these types of committee like permanent committee, ad hoc committee, and all those systems. But in this video, I am basically going to talk about important parliamentary committee of India, its role. its member how they perform member from which is uh, which house is participated in which ministry who um, member of which house chair any committee which are not uh, what is the role of M mps in forming this committee ruling party strength of the party number of the party how much time given given to a uh, mp to speak on any issue so all this is all this stuff i am going to talk about in this video so just let's start this video so the topic of the today video is parliamentary committees in india so parliament can also constitute a jpc joint parliamentary committee so parliament can also constitute a jpc with a special purpose so parliament can constitute a jpc with special purpose with members from both houses lok sabha and rajya sabha for a detailed scrutiny of a subject or a bill that means this uh, statement is talk about parliament can constitute a jpc jpc for a special purpose from member from both the houses lok sabha and rajya sabha if any detailed discussion is required on a subject or on a bill next one also either of the two houses can set up a select committee with member from with, uh, with member from that house so either of the two house can set up a select committee with members from that house so i also want to know want to set up a select committee members from rajya sabha if lok sabha want to set up a committee uh, let up a select committee then members from rajya sabha jpc and select committees are usually chaired by ruling party mp it is usually chaired by the ruling party mp and are disbanded after they have submitted their reports when they submitted their report these select committees are disbanded next point is the time to speak on a bill is allocated according to the size of the party in the house what is the size of a party in the house basis on the basis of that time is allocated to any mp to speak on a particular issue okay mps often do not get adequate time to put forward their views in the parliament because parliament session is limited so mp have do not have adequate time to put forward their issue even if they are expert on this okay it is not that they do not know about any any issue so we give them less time any person no so give them more time but even if a person is expert on that uh, on that issue they do not get adequate time to talk and put forward their view committee are small group committee committee are small group with relatively less demand on their time so committees have a no you can say have hazard or you can say no rush of time so they have a proper time so in these meeting every mp get a chance in a time to contribute to the discussion so this is the purpose of the committee this is the purpose of the uh, you can say small small select committee department or related committee jpc committee so that mps get adequate time to talk on any issue even if they are expert in parliament they do not get adequate time to put forward their views that's why committee your setup on special purpose and for any particular subject of bill so parliament has only around 100 sitting in india three session winter session monsoon session as well as budget session so parliament has a 100 sitting in a year 
committee meeting are independent of parliament calendar even if uh, session is going on in parliament it, it, it is not but uh, committees are meeting and discussion is going on activities is going on on that issue in, in that committee so it is independent of parliament meeting committee meeting of committee is independent of parliament meeting there are 16 drc in lok sabha and 8 in rajya sabha okay that means if any discussion is going on if any on any bill or any subject so we have checking department written committee who talk discuss is scrutinize that bill based on that department and in rajya sabha these types of committees are eight and in these committee member are included from both the houses from the rajya sabha from the lok sabha either it is committee sir it is either it is a, a department it is a committee of lok sabha but member from the both the houses however every committee has member from both houses lok sabha and rajya sabha panels are headed by members of these respective houses so the panels of lok sabha and rajya sabha are headed by the member of that respective houses so these are few important points you have to remember if i summarize the whole topic i summarize it like we have jpc we have select committee we have department related committee in lok sabha we have 16 in rajya sabha we have eight but members are included from both the houses just a minute from both the houses rajya sabha as well as lok sabha jpc call for a special purpose to talk on a particular issue or a subject or a on a bill select committee is chosen by either lok sabha or rajya sabha from member from these houses i talk about drc and also even uh, mp do not get adequate time to speak in the parliament so we form this committee so that even if they are experts so we form this committee so that they get debate adequate time and in discussion they put forward their valuable views so these are important topic you remember it and you can clearly see in this picture this is a picture of our parliament lok sabha rajya sabha here discussion debate are going on different different committee meet and put forward their views okay so now we are going to solve one question only consider the following statement regarding parliamentary committees in india jpc and select committees are usually chaired by ruling parties and are disbanded after they are submitted their report yeah jpc and select committees are Usually chaired by the ruling party members. This is correct. Committee meetings are independent of parliament calendar year. Parliament nearly hundred meeting in a year, but meetings of committee are more than that or less than that. It is independent of the parliament calendar. There are equal number of department related standing committee for Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha and are headed by member of these respective houses. No, members are headed by. Uh, headed by the respective houses but the drc in lok sabha is 16 and in rajya sabha is 8 that is not equal this one is wrong that means option 1 and 2 is correct just check we are on the right path here now option b is correct that means we are on the right path so i hope you love this video understand this video and gain some perspective some knowledge from it so namaskaram thank you